Mortal Kombat is a worldwide phenomenon, making a revolution in the fighting game industry until mid-90s, then it stepped down from the throne, during its transition into 3D, only to return with a blast in 2011. Join MK Secrets, and let's make a review of the history of the title that changed our childhood, our future, and the world of fighting games forever. are not harmless toys, that uh, they can indeed uh, cause great emotional and uh, other damage to a child. Would you find Mortal Kombat, yes. Night Trap? <laughs> Mortal Kombat 2 officially shapes the story of the franchise as we know it today. After filling in on the missing story pieces from the first game, the sequel picks up right after the events from the original Mortal Kombat. Shang Tsung's scheme comes to an end at the hands of Liu Kang. Facing execution for his failure and the apparent death of Goro, he convinces his master, Shao Kahn, to grant him a second chance. Shang Tsung's new plan is to lure his enemies to compete in the outworld, where they will meet certain death by the Emperor himself. All characters from the original Mortal Kombat, with the exception of Kano, Goro, and Sonya, return for the sequel. In addition, the game introduces five new playable characters, and two new bosses. Korn Lao, a former Shaolin monk, and a member of the White Lotus Society. He is the descendant of the great Korn Lao. Reptile, the hidden green ninja from the first game, now with his own set of moves and finishes. Shang Tsung. Restored to his younger self by the Emperor. His true demonic form is however, something we never see in the game. Kitana. A progression of the Kitsun character from the first game. She is the Emperor's stepdaughter, who secretly plots against him after discovering the truth about her past. Jax. The character was supposed to appear in the original game, under the name Striker. He appears in the sequel, and is on a mission to save Sonya Blade. His design went through a lot of changes before being finalized. At one point, Jax looked very similar to Street Fighter's Balrog. Melina, a creature born of Shang Tsung's dark magic, to serve the Emperor and pose as twin sister of Kitana. Baraka, belongs to nomadic race of mutants, living in the wastelands of the outworld. Similar to Jax, his design went through a lot of changes. Some of the dropped ideas were applied to other characters in later games. Originally planned as a regular playable character, this tiger-like humanoid was based on the Japanese mythological figure, Kintaro. According to the legend, he was abandoned in the mountains, and grew up among the tigers. However, constructing a costume of this magnitude simply wasn't feasible. Kintaro's name and tiger stripes were retained when the new Goro relative boss was created. A stop-motion figure was used, just like in the first game. Turns out, Shang's boss is the Dark Emperor of Outworld, Shao Kahn. Originally, everyone in the Outworld was planned to be of Baraka's race, and thus, Shao Kahn started with gnashing teeth. Tobias originally conceived the boss as a skeletal creature, but decided Khan looked too much the part of the scheming Chinese mystic, like Shang Tsung. This is the reason Khan evolved into the character we know today. Two additional characters were originally planned for the game, a female fighter, based on a real-life kickboxer, named Kathy Long. 
Tobias admired her and thought to be a totally noble person. She was dropped due to time constraints. Hugh Wang, one of the actors for the characters, was slated to appear in Mortal Kombat 2 as a bonus round character, but his role was cut from the finished game. The in-depth outworld environments, the better animations, the upgraded fighting system, among other things, shaped the overall look and feel of Mortal Kombat 2 and helped capture the hearts of the fans from the start. Mortal Kombat 1 was the game that introduced the juggling combos to the fighting games. Mortal Kombat 2 took this concept and brought it to a whole new level. Some of the characters, however, were too powerful in early revisions and had to be toned down to balance the game. The final artificial intelligence of Mortal Kombat 2 is considered one of the hardest in the entire series. Not everyone knows, however, that the boss characters were a lot difficult at the beginning. Revision 2.1 is the first official release of Mortal Kombat 2. Tons of new features were added, including the new finishes, the abilities and friendships. Babality. These were meant to show another, fun side of the game, in contrast to the violence and the blood. To these days, it is considered a humiliation among the fans, when someone gets defeated with one of these finishing moves. Following the extreme success of Reptile, the hidden fighter from the first game, two secret fights against the mysterious female ninja Jade and the male ninja, Smoke, were added in Mortal Kombat 2. In later revisions, these hidden characters appear randomly before some matches and give you parts of the information you need to know to find and fight them, just like in the original game. One of the interesting features in Mortal Kombat 1 was the Test Your Might game, which is unfortunately missing from the sequel. However, another hidden and extremely popular classic game takes its place. Pong. To get the chance to play this game, you must reach 250 matches. The final revision 3.1 brought a lot of changes to the game. These include not only fixes for gameplay issues, but also new finishes, more advanced artificial intelligence, more blood and even more secrets. This revision was followed by revision 3.2 and a few fan-made hacked revisions including 4.2 and the challenger. Different rumors and speculations for the game started directly upon its release. The vivid imagination of the fans created animalities. A new finishing move that turns your character into a wild animal. And also, Shang Tsung's ability to transform into Kano, a rumor based upon the mysterious at the time, Kano Transformations Counter. This was put in the game as a joke reference to Mir Max Counter from the first game. Several additional hidden fighters were also made up, including Torch and Hornbuckle, the two background characters from the Pit 2 arena, and the red female ninja, Scarlet. All these turned out to be fake, but there was a new hidden feature in the final release of the game, and it was a secret, the fans were not prepared for. Noob Cybot, a third hidden fighter. Carrying the surnames of Ed Boon and John Tobias, read backwards, this old black male ninja is the most difficult hidden fighter to reach and beat. The popularity of the original Pit Fatality led to the creation of three new finishers for Mortal Kombat 2. You can now send your enemy into a pool full of acid, impale them on spikes, or smash them at the bottom of the pit. The new Pit Fatality will forever remain in the history of the game as the most original and memorable background fatality. Baraka wins fatality.
the live-action TV commercial for the home versions of the game, is considered as the best Mortal Kombat commercial ever created. The censorship Nintendo put on the original Mortal Kombat, resulted in a near-catastrophic sales for their console when compared to the Genesis version. This time, the violence and finishing moves remained intact. The Genesis port also received something special. The balance of the gameplay of the home versions is far from those achieved in the final arcade revision. More recent releases of Mortal Kombat 2 and Midway Arcade Treasures PSN and Arcade Collection offer an emulated arcade version of the game. Your mind. Fight. Mortal, Kombat! Mortal Kombat was everywhere. Trading cards, clothing, and action figures are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to merchandising. Two comic books were also released to explain the story of the games in detail. The original soundtrack from the first two games was also available and advertised even in the game itself. All tracks are composed by the lead sound designer of the franchise, Dan Fordham. Hypnotic House and Mortal Kombat, the album by the Immortals, were also released. These albums featured a separate techno song for each of the seven playable characters from the first game, as well as Goro, along with seven additional tracks. The popularity of Mortal Kombat reached unimaginable heights. Whether it's at home or at the arcades, Mortal Kombat was enjoying the attention of thousands of players around the globe. There was only one question all these people were asking themselves. What the future holds for the series?